Hey everybody, here we are, doing something a little bit different. We're going to make some ricotta cheese. Um, the recipe calls up for two litres of whole milk, a teaspoon of citric acid, and a teaspoon of salt. Sterilising the equipment, we've got a draining spoon. This is just in boiling water. Couple of mixing jugs, one for the citric acid, which has to go into a quarter of a cup of water. We've got the pot that it's going to heat the milk in. Measuring Cotter basket and draining cup, which all came in a kit, and thermometer. Uh, first things first is got to heat the milk to 95 degrees C, stirring it continuously, and so then it doesn't stick on the bottom. So I'll probably use that for stirring. And we'll get back to you as uh, it's not far off temperature now. We're almost 90 degrees centigrade. The salt was added to the milk prior to heating. The, that was a teaspoon of salt. The teaspoon of citric acid has been dissolved in a quarter of a cup of cool water, it was boiled, well tipped in and left to cool, and as soon as we get to temperature, turn the heat off, add the citric acid, and allegedly it should start to curdle straight away. Uh, we're up at 92. That's the heat off. Citric acid in. And it is immediately starting to curdle. Leave it to cool for 30 minutes, to 30 minutes and then you start to scoop out the curds. So set the timer. We'll set it for 25 minutes. And we'll see you soon. Almost forgot. It's uh, 30 minutes later, and all you do now is you've got, as you see, almost full, the ricotta draining basket with the draining receptacle, and you just scoop the curds out of the pan with the draining spoon, just allow it to drain a little bit. I'm making that up, that doesn't, doesn't say that. But I'm assuming that's why you have a draining spoon and then just layer them into the basket. As I say, I've almost finished this job. And then leave it to drain. I'll just read to you what it says in the uh, instructions. 
Right, so with a draining spoon, carefully layer the ricotta curds on top of each other in the ricotta basket, as briefly shown. Leave the full basket to drain in the ricotta tray container until the desired consistency is obtained. It can be either eaten dry and crumbly or moist and creamy. And it can be stored in a refrigerator for up to a week. So, as I say, that's nearly all of the curds gone now. There might be a few left, I might put it to turn. Might end up putting it through the sieve. Cotter cheese, simples. We'll see how it tastes later. My head is bloody banging, but who's the one to blame? Is this a one way ticket on a train line with no stops? Should I sit back and just take it? Or should I?